All right. <clears throat> Hi, YouTube. I had noticed there was a severe lacking of do-it-yourself car mounts for the iPad 2 that had any real kind of um, staying power or accessibility or being very um, easy to access. So I took it upon myself to, to rig up my own little contraption here and I thought since there was a lack of quality videos showing you how to do it, I'd show you how I did mine. So, I've got mine here, and currently I hook it up through my radio with a little port, and I also use my jailbroken iPhone to supply it with internet while I drive. So, behind it is how we get going here. This is a off-the-shelf TV wall bracket. I got it at Lowe's for $60, though I would suggest you guys look online. I found a site that sells it for $35, and I will also list all of the other things that I used in this build uh, in the list below, and the details. So, I had thought about mounting it here on the dash for the radio, but I decided to go with a bit more sturdy, and I ended up taking the faceplate off and putting two screws straight through the wall holes, right through the dash, and I just nutted it with the right in the back. Um, I suggest if you're going to be doing some work back there, I, uh, it took me three or four nuts to figure out I should put something sticky on my fingers and then put the nut to it so I didn't lose them into the abyss of the dash. So here's the box for the TV mount. If you guys want to check it out, see if you can't find it yourself. That's what it originally looks like. It has uh, like butterfly wings to it, and I really didn't need that much space. So I took the ends off with a, um, a simple hacksaw, and I just filed them down so they were kind of rounded and weren't going to cut me if I touched them. Then I used these. You can get these at any arts and crafts store or online. I got them at a store called Michael's, and they are little round, powerful earth magnets. I got a set of four, and I used um, wire, heat shrink wire wraps. You guys probably seen them at like Home Depot. They're little tubes. Let's get a little better picture little tubes and when you take a hair dryer to them they shrink like shrink wrap and I just put the magnets on in a square pattern and then I heat shrunk them to the mount and they're, they're pretty secure they're not going anywhere um, but you could also use a little bit of glue or something else if you feel that, that wasn't going to be enough um, I also used the heat shrink wrap so that um, there was never metal on metal touching, and it gave the iPad a little more, um, you know, scratch resistant with the rubber coating to it. Kind of feels like, a, you know, like tire rubber. So after that, uh, I attached these um, to the iPad. Since there's Nothing in the iPad that will be affected by magnets. Um, uh, this really isn't going to hurt the iPad itself. There's nothing in it to get hurt by magnetic forces. Um, there is a magnetron inside that gives you a, a reading on direction, but how often are you going to use your compass? The does not affect the GPS whatsoever, but if you do have a compass app, it... Uh, on this particular device it could uh, interfere with that a little bit uh, but that's it so here these are I'm going to grab the package for them these are Stanley mounting braces two and a half inch mounting braces and they simply just are attached by a command, little those little foam pull tabs, the ones where you can take them back off again if you want, you know, the hangers from 3M. So, eventually I will find a better way to put some metal on this iPad so that it will stick to my magnets, but I, I don't think I currently have 
uh, a better way. Uh, though I'm still looking. So, all you have to do is just snap it into place. It holds pretty, pretty snug and secure, and I wouldn't worry about it going anywhere. Oh, here are the, um, the screws that I used um, to go through the dash. Nothing too long, um, but they fit back there nicely. And uh, that's really all I used. It, it, it swivels. It swivels for the passenger seat so they can use the iPad. It swivels over to the driver's seat so I have it, you know, good length for me. I can change it and turn it for a uh, for a, um, a portrait effect if I need be. And of course you can just go ahead and have it plugged in while you drive so it charges. There you go. Charging. And of course you can play through the stereo. I found this to be extremely helpful while driving with your GPS, music, iTunes, and I even have an app to receive phone calls. So, um, let me know your comments. Any video responses with your do-it-yourself iPad holders in the car or iPhone holders in the car. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. Bye.